name is Tina Do. I came to the United States in 1975 after Saigon fell. We came from a refugee camp. At that time, I did all kind of job, like a sewing, like a cleaning the house. My husband, he worked two jobs all the time. One job is uh, like in state a school and cleaning stuff. And at daytime, he worked for grocery or he worked for welding or whatever. We all worked so hard to raise the children because I had four small children and one sister at that time. After several years, uh, we found the business school. That's why I went and I got the uh, certificate to work in the office. And at first I worked for insurance company. Then they laid me up and I found a job in the bank. In the bank, uh, the employer offer for employees the course. Go to school, they pay for it. I took uh, the course, then I got promotion right away. At that time, the owner of the Saigon Broadcasting Television headquarters in California came over here to help in the concert, to help the Katrina victims. And I was the MC in that uh, event. So we met and we talked. Then after that, I became partner with them. Then after that, I became the owner by myself. After 28 years, they laid me up at the bank. Then I just stay with the radio and TV. Now I'm the owner and director of the TV, Shaigon Broadcasting Television Network. There are six substations. I'm owner of the uh, substation in Texas. I'm also the owner of the radio Shaigon Dallas, 1600 AM. Of course, if I can turn clock backward, I would like to go to school and get um, education, get a degree. I would have a better job right away, not wait for several years. The employer should have the program to help the people to go to school. I really would like to see all the employers on the company have that kind of program. For their employees. I really appreciate America and whoever, you know, helping me to get my position today.